everyone welcome back to Pabli in this video we're going to learn how to create common contact from WooCommerce orders so here my objective is that that as soon as any of my customers places an order with the help of WooCommerce automatically I want to create a contact of that same customer in my Como account for that what we are going to do is we're going to simply create an automation between WooCommerce and Como with the help of Pabli Connect so if you want to learn how to do this amazing automation then let me take you all to my screen in this video we're going to learn how to create Como contacts from WooCommerce order so here my objective is that, that as soon as a new order is going to be placed with the help of my WooCommerce account by any of my customers, I want to create a contact of that same customer who have placed the order in my Como account. For that what we are going to do is we are going to simply create an automation between WooCommerce and Como with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen you can see the website of Pabli Connect that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website we need to sign in to our Pabli Connect account. Account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign in to my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see the five applications of Pabli. From which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on access now. Then Pabli Connect dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on this top right corner button right over here that says create workflow. A new dialog box is then going to appear which is asking for a workflow name. So I'm going to give a name to my workflow as create Como contact from WooCommerce order. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. Okay. Next over here it is asking for us to select a folder. So on the left side of my screen, you can see I've created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. For that click on this drop down arrow and these are the folders from which I'm going to select Como Automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After giving a name to our workflow and selecting the folder let's click on create in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of create Como contact from WooCommerce order and there are two windows in front of you. One over here says trigger, other says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts. Over here trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. Firstly what we are going to do is we are going to set up our trigger step or directly click on this arrow and for the trigger application we are going to select it as WooCommerce as our objective is that whenever a new order is going to be placed with the help of WooCommerce automatically Pabli Connect should capture the response so with the trigger event we are going to select it as new order created as we want to capture the response of the new order created in our workflow okay after that you can see Pabli Connect has provided us with a webhook URL with the help of this unique webhook URL we are going to connect Pabli Connect with WooCommerce so I'm going to first copy this URL from here after copying the URL to follow the steps given here below in the help desk in order to connect WooCommerce to Pabli Connect. So firstly I'm going to open my WooCommerce account. As you can see that this is my WooCommerce account right over here and now to connect WooCommerce to Pabli Connect from the left side of the panel under WooCommerce you can see settings. We're going to click on settings right over here. After click on settings you can see over here a bar is given in which we have to click on advanced right over here. As you go to click on advanced you can see what says page setup and under this you can see it says webhooks. We're going to click on it. After click on webhooks, you can see webhook pages then going to appear over here it says webhook and next to it it says add webhook. We are going to click on add webhook. So this is the webhook data page over here we are going to enter the details of the new webhook. For the name of the webhook I am going to give it as Como Contact. So this is the name of my webhook. For the status I am going to select it as active. For the topic over here we are going to select it as order created as we want to capture the response in this webhook for order being created. For the delivery URL we are going to paste the URL that Public Connect has provided us. And for the secret key over here I am going to give it a secret key right over here okay. After that over here we are going to click on save webhook. As we have done that over here it says webhook updated successfully that means the webhook is now saved. So if I am going to take you back to my workflow that I have created. 
and if I'm going to scroll down over here you can see a response is captured in our workflow and as we have received this response right over here it confirms that the webhook is successfully added to our WooCommerce account but now as we want to capture the response of the order being placed so we are going to click on recapture webhook response and on yes right over here as we have done that over here it is saying waiting for webhook response so now what we are going to do is we are going to create an order with the help of WooCommerce and we're going to check whether public credit captures the response of that order being created or not for that I'm going to create an order so this is the product that I'm going to sell with the help of WooCommerce and we are going to place an order we are going to create an order of this product right over here for that we have to open this link in a new tab right over here and you can see that right over here this is the product that I'm selling with the help of WooCommerce so I'm going to add this product to my cart right over here so now what we are going to do is we are going to fill in the details of the new product right over here for the first name being I'm going to select it as demo for the last name over here I'm going to select it as test 456 for the company name I'm going to skip the part as this is not a required field for the country over here I'm going to select it as India for the street address I'm going to write it as 123 modern town for the town over here that is city I'm going to select it as Bhopal for the state over here I'm going to select it as Madhya Pradesh for the pin code over here I'm going to select in a dummy pin code for the phone number I'm going to write in a dummy mobile number for the email over here I'm going to write in a dummy email demo test 456 at the rate .com. this is the dummy email after filling all the details I'm going to click on place order and as you can see right over here it says your order has been received so this means that we successfully placed the order with the help of WooCommerce so now what we're going to do is we're going to open our Public Connect account and the workflow that we have created and we're going to check whether Public Connect has captured the response of the new order being placed with the help of WooCommerce or not for that I'm going to open my workflow that I've created I'm going to scroll down I'm going to wait over here for a few minutes after few seconds over here you can see we have received a response if I'm going to scroll down for the item name over here it says new generation phone times right over here for the postal code a dummy postal code state as Madhya Pradesh first name as demo last name as test 456 for the city as Bhopal address as 123 modern town for the email as demo test 456 at the rate .com. for the phone number dummy mobile number country as India and all the other details. So this means that this is fully connected WooCommerce to Public Connect and a trigger setup is done. So now whenever a new order is going to be created with the help of WooCommerce automatically Public Connect is going to capture the response. After setting up our trigger step we need to set up our action step for that click on this arrow right over here and for the action application we are going to select it as Como. We are going to select our action application as Como. So I'm going to select my action application right over here. After selecting that, it is asking for us to select an action event. And for the action event, we are going to select it as create contact. As we want that whenever an order is placed with the help of WooCommerce, automatically a contact of that same customer who have placed the order should be created in our Como account. After that, we are going to click on connect in order to connect Como to Public Connect. A new window is going to appear on which click on add new connection. After that, over here it says connect with Como. We are going to click on it over here it is asking for the subdomain and over here we have received the example of how we have to enter the subdomain so I'm going to open my Como account as you can see that this is my Como account right over here and in this URL this is the subdomain that is right over here okay so I'm going to copy the subdomain from here from the URL and I'm going to paste the subdomain right over here and I'm going to click on save as we are going to click on save over here a new window is going to appear which is asking for a permission on which I am going to click on allow as this is a safe process and my data is perfectly safe with public connect so I am going to click on allow. As you can see that we successfully authorized Como with Pabli Connect. After authorizing over here it is asking for the details of first name, last name, email, phone number and all the other details of the contact that we are going to create. For the details over here what we are going to do is we are going to map the data. 
Mapping means inserting data from the previous step. So we are going to insert the data from the previous step of this workflow. And how are we going to do that? As soon as you go to click on this field right away, it says WooCommerce new order created. This was the previous step of this workflow. If I'm going to click on this arrow, this was the same response that was captured in our previous step. As over here, it is asking for the first name of our contact. So I'm going to map the data of the first name of our contact. So I'm going to select this data. This is the first name of my contact. I'm going to select this. As I selected the data, the data is mapped. And as the data is mapped, the data has now become dynamic. That means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step, automatically the data right overhead place of this mapped data is going to be updated. Okay. Next, it is asking for the last name. So we are going to map the data for the last name of our contact. So I'm going to map the data. Next, over here, it is asking for the responsible user. For that, I'm going to select the user that I've created in my Como account. For the email address, we are going to map the data of the email address of our customer. So I'm going to map the data. Next, it is asking for the phone number. So we're going to map the data of the phone number of our customer. So this is right over. I'm going to map the data. Next, it is asking for the position and the tags. I'm going to skip the part as I don't require the fields. After filling all the details, I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as I've done that over here, you're going to receive a response and the response that we have received is a positive response. So if I'm going to open my Como account, a contact is going to be created in it. So I'm going to open my Como account. I'm going to refresh this contacts page right over here. As we have refreshed the page, you can see right over here, contact is created in our Como account in the name of demo test 456. I'm going to open this contact right over here. For the name, it says as demo test 456. For the phone number, dummy mobile number. And for the email address as demo test 456 at the rate .com. So this means that we fully created an automation between WooCommerce and Como with the help of Pabli Connect. So now to sum up till now, what we have done, my objective is that that as a new order is going to be created by any of my customers with the help of WooCommerce, automatically I wanted to create a contact of that same customer who have placed the order in my Como account. For that, what we have done is we have simply created an automation between WooCommerce and Como with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video. Not just with these applications, you can create automation with the help of Pabli Connect between multiple applications. If you have any doubts, you can send us an email on support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any queries, you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com. If you have any queries regarding the pricing of Pabli Connect, then you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions and doubts, and please share this video. And thank you for watching.